Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm here with another update on everything in Thailand and what's coming up for the stream. So if you've been paying attention to the live stream at all, or even some of the YouTube content as of late, it's uh, been a little choppy. The internet connection here in Thailand has not been working as expected. It's not been working as advertised. I've checked a bunch of different places. I've I've rented some office space, I've rent bopped around in these offices, even to different locations, trying to find solid working internet, and it's not working. Um, and it's getting to the point that it's actually a problem. I mean, it's been a problem, but it doesn't look like it's going to be resolved. So my wife and I sat down and talked, because this is a serious problem. And we've decided that rather than trying to stick it out here and scrape and find a way to make the internet work here, we're not going to do that. We're going to leave. We're going to leave Chiang Mai. Um, the other option, one of the other options, would be to uh, go to a different country or a different city and set up shop there. But again, no matter how thoroughly you research something, because we, I checked, looked into Chiang Mai pretty decently, and I was pretty confident that when we got here, it wouldn't be a problem, and it was. No matter how much you research these things, you're not really getting a guarantee unless you know someone on site who can do, who can test everything for you or who can confirm for you the, the validity of these things. Reading things online just isn't enough. So we're not going to go to another country or another town or any, another city or anything like that. Um, instead, we're going to take a couple of weeks to travel because that's why we're here. And we were planning on doing a little bit of traveling at the end of January and then a little bit of traveling a little bit later. But instead, we're just going to squish that traveling into the next two weeks. And then my wife is going to stay and travel a little bit on her own, do some volunteering on her own, maybe teaching some English to uh, Buddhist nuns. We're not sure. She's going to figure out what she wants to do. Uh, and I'm going to head back to the United States, buckle down in a place where I have guaranteed solid internet, and then Bob's your uncle, I guess. Uh, I'll, I'll be in a place with solid internet, with a dedicated line, uh, I won't have any distractions. There won't be any traveling around. I won't even have my wife around to hang out with, much less, uh, I don't want to say keep me from my work, because it's not like she's keeping me from my work. I want to spend my time with her. So I guess not quite a distraction, but I'll be sad and lonely with nothing else to do but stream and do D&D &D stuff. So we'll just get a lot more streaming and D&D &D stuff in, because I, won't, I literally just won't have anything else to do. Um, so that's going to be great for the stream, great for you guys. It's sad for me because I'm probably going to end up spending another one to three months away from my wife, and I really don't like doing that because she's awesome and I love her and I want to spend more time with her. But but you know this is this is where it is. She needs to, a little bit more traveling. I took off three months over the summer. I spent a month and a half traveling across Europe visiting you guys. Uh, and you know, checking out Europe and hanging out and doing all sorts of fun things. Then a month and a half in the States, going to weddings, going to Burning Man, visiting my friends, visiting family, and then came back to Vietnam. So I did my three months of travel. She's going to get in her months of travel. We're going to do a couple weeks right now together. And then, and then she's going to meet me back in the United States. And that's the plan. So I should be not really producing anything else now for the next couple of weeks. I'll be back in the United States. Uh, we haven't booked tickets yet, but we haven't booked flights yet. But uh, first week of February, I think, I think my visa expires uh, on f the fourth of February in Thailand. So I will probably need to be on a plane by the third or fourth of February, unless we end up somewhere else. But I think we're just going to do two weeks. So I should be back in the United States and working by the fifth or the sixth, or maybe at the latest the seventh or something like that. Um, and at that point, it'll just be lots more streaming and on a much better time for you and guys in the United States. Um, maybe not as good of a time for you Europeans. I don't know. I don't know how the things are going to work out, but I'll be working U.S. hours, waking up at 10, streaming until 2 or 3, then waking up at 10 and streaming until 2 or 3 in the morning. It'll be great. It'll be fantastic. Um, and I'm feeling a lot better about everything. I made this last update the trouble in thailand one and i was if you couldn't tell i was pretty depressed i was really stressed worried very unhappy and just in a, a very unpleasant space but now that we've got set a plan in motion which has 
guaranteed success because I will be streaming from a place I've already streamed from before and I know that the internet works. I'll be back in California. Um, it'll be wonderful. We've got a couple of places there that I can stream from. I'm going to start in Santa Barbara and then when my wife comes back, uh, joins me in California, we'll probably go north to Sea Ranch or Auburn and stream from there and work from there. And it's going to be great. And I feel extraordinarily fortunate that I've not only had the opportunity to live abroad, live in Vietnam for a year, get to travel around Vietnam, get to hang out in How Long Bay as like my weekend getaway was How Long Bay, which just look up How Long Bay. It was amazing. Um, and then I got to do, as I said before, that trip through Europe, which was fantastic. I'm incredibly grateful for these opportunities that I've had, but also that when my travel plans fall apart and fail and my my working, my career is suffering because I don't have internet that I can work together with my wife and completely change all of our plans like that and come up with a plan that works out because she's she's amazing. She's the best. Uh, as I've said many times before on marathon streams, my wife is way cooler than I am, guys. Uh, maybe one day I'll actually let you guys meet her. Um, but also I feel extraordinarily fortunate that I get to go home to awesome places. Like I get to stop traveling around Vietnam and then go home to Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara, California, or I get to go home to Sea Ranch, California. Like, I don't know. Uh, I feel very fortunate and very lucky. And while I am an ardent atheist, and I don't mean this in any sort of religious way, I do feel very blessed in my life that I've had wonderful opportunities to do these things, and I will continue to take advantage of every single opportunity I get to not only do great and fun things in my life, but also to make the coolest D&D campaigns that I can for you guys. And speaking of cool D&D campaigns, have you guys noticed how awesome things were this week? I mean, internet issues aside, yeah, there was some video lagging, you know, the, the stream crashed once or twice here or there. But the campaigns this week were killer. Uh, this was um, the second episode of, of um, Hardcore Heroes. And that was awesome. The, I, don't, I mean, no spoilers. No spoilers. But this episode was great for Hardcore Heroes. It was super great. It's uploading to YouTube right now. The first episode's already up. The second episode will be out tomorrow. The third one out the day after. The fourth one the day after that. And then Dicing with Death this week. If you guys haven't been following Dicing with Death, this new character, Georg, is worth checking out. He is the best character we've had in quite a while. And this last episode was really good with him. I think it was episode, what is it here? 74, but I think he starts on like 71 or 70. Just go to regalgoblins.com and you can get the link to the start of the Georg videos on the on regalgoblins.com. And this week's shenanigans was super good too. We couldn't live stream it. We had to just do straight to YouTube. But this week's shenanigans was awesome. It was great. Shenanigans is also fantastic because you don't need to have seen anything to go into it. You can just, they're always one off, so you can just pop in. So you should check out this week's Shenanigans, which was episode 24. Um, it's possibly my favorite episode of Shenanigans. I, if it's not my favorite, I can't remember my favorite, but it's my top in my top three, hands down. It was great. I loved it. Um, so... Things have been going really great, internet issues aside, and so I'm really psyched. I'm a little, I mean, I'm torn. I'm happy that I get to travel around for these next two weeks, but things have been going so well on the D&D front, and so well on the streaming front, and so well on the Arcadia front. Everything has been doing extraordinarily awesome in this new year, and I'm a little bummed that I have to take two weeks away from it, but what, I mean, I can't really complain. I have to like take two weeks off to travel around Thailand and Laos, or Laos, depending on your pronunciation, with my wife. And then I get to go home to Santa Barbara and then play D&D from Santa Barbara. So I, I'm i in a very happy mood and in a very good place. And I feel extraordinarily fortunate and lucky and blessed. And my dad always used to say as a kid, you know, count your blessings. And I, as a kid, I always kind of like, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm lucky. Life is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. But really, you know, sometimes... Life throws you shitty things. Sometimes you move to a new country and you can't get any internet and nothing's working. But there's there's almost always a silver lining. I get to go back to Santa Barbara, which is fantastic. I love Santa Barbara. I love Sea Ranch. So 
Uh, so I guess this update is all good news, except in the short term. In the short term, you don't get any more D&D for the next two weeks, and that sucks. But after that, you can get a higher quality stream because I'll be able to stream at higher uh, bit rates. You'll get a more constant stream because I won't have shitty internet connections and I won't have a weird ass sleep schedule where I have to wake up at one in the morning or be awake from one to five in the morning to do my shows. I'll be able to like wake up, stream until I fall asleep, and then just wake up and stream until I fall asleep and just do that forever. I might like, you know, occasionally take a break to hang out and get some me time, but you know, it's going to be great. Everything is going to be going really well in the future and I'm super psyched. And this video is getting a little long and I'm just kind of repeating myself now. So I'm going to call it, but that's the future. Um, so recap, two weeks traveling around, back to the United States, no distractions, nothing else to do other than stream and play D&D and make cool campaigns and build worlds and stuff like that. Uh, there were going to be some big announcements at the beginning of this year. And those announcements are still coming. They've just been delayed because I couldn't, I haven't had the right way, haven't figured out the right way to announce it and say it and put together a video doing it. And I want to do a proper announcement and not some half-hearted thing. I don't want to like announce the things that I want to announce like I'm announcing this. Now I've said announce too many times and it's getting more confusing and I was supposed to end the video instead of just keep train wrecking, but we're going to end it now. So that's my update for all of you guys. And uh, I'll see you in two weeks, somewhere around January 6th, somewhere around there. Um, updates to follow. See you guys later. Bye-bye.